Hello, it's Lucy and welcome back to my channel. So today I will be doing a video on 20 facts about me because I think there may be some new people or not so new people that know nothing about me. They may have just stumbled upon my channel and thought, who is this bitch? And so this bitch is going to tell you who she is. So let's get started. My birthday is the 12th of June. Uh, I'm 20 at the moment because I was born in the year 2000. I'm turning 21 this year. But being born in June makes me a Gemini. And I'm not a fan of astrology. I don't keep up with it like the Kardashians. I kind of see a lot of TikToks about how people hate Geminis and I have no idea why we're hating on Geminis. So if you know, can you fill me in on the plot? Number two is I am a British. Uh, I was born in a town called Enfield, which is in London. I then grew up in the countryside in a county called Hertfordshire, so there's lots of farms. But it wasn't that far from London, so I spent most of my time on the weekends going into town and doing pretty touristy things. My family liked to take me to loads of landmarks, so London Eye, HMS Belfast, Tower of London. I did a lot of history stuff when I was younger. And then when I decided to go to university, I moved up to Manchester and I've been living here for this is my third year now. I hope I can stay here once I finish university and just learn a bit more about Manchester because I've been very shy so far. Number three is that I am left-handed. Here she is. And according to Google, that kind of means I'm something to do with the devil. You know, it is what it is. Number four is I've had surgery on my eyes twice now because I started walking into walls and stuff. I had a squint and uh, I was cross-eyed. Insert a little cross-eyed Lucy now. I had to have it done so that my eyes would straighten up. So the surgery was important and it was only meant to last 10 years. But in 2019, one of my muscles finally gave in and I had to have surgery and it was this side. The skin around my eyes is very thin because when I had surgery, it's been stretched so much. So um, I always have problems with wrinkles now because it's so thin and I am very very self-conscious of my eyes now because of that but we working on it five is my first ever job was as a elf like an elf for santa claus yeah! oh my god i worked in the north pole no i worked in a garden center and i actually did it twice two years in a row obviously i don't work for them anymore so i can spill the tea Of course there was some upsides of working there, you know, you got to see people be happy, smiling. But the downsides were, we had to deal with a lot of Karens and Susans complaining because they've had to wait so long. We had seven Santas. There was this one time that involved me and the Santa was very creepy and I just, I just said I'm not doing it anymore. Number six, that was my hair. Number six is I am a big fat lover of Scooby-Doo. Now I know it's usually the same kind of storyline, it's a guy in a mask, but it's the nostalgia for me, okay? Like they come up with so many storylines and I know I can usually guess who it's gonna be, but it doesn't matter because I just love it. And all the Scooby-Doo movies I've watched, I think my favorite Scooby-Doo movie is Return to Zombie Island. I actually used to be petrified of Scooby-Doo when I was younger, when I was like seven. I was scared of it. Oh, how the turns have tabled. Number one more? Seven. My favorite food is cookies. It used to be chicken nuggets, but uh, I actually wrote a lot in my books about chicken nuggets and everyone guessed that it was my favorite food. But in September, I kind of went vegetarian, so I didn't have chicken nuggets for a while and it made me kind of fall out in love with them because I realized it wasn't that special and I moved on to cookies and vegan cookies. I have so many cookie recipes that I should probably show you guys. My talent is that I can sing Nations of the World at double the speed. Now, if you don't know what Nations of the World is, it became a meme. I'll sing a little. It goes, um, United States, Canada, Mexico, Panama, Haiti, Jamaica, Peru. That's only a tiny bit of it. Number nine, my uh, guilty pleasure is 
watching the flex tape commercial more than I should. No, that's a lot of damage! I actually follow the guy Phil Swift on Instagram. I don't know, there's something about the commercials, they're just so extra with it and it looks like I'm naked. I've just realized we've got a top on. Yeah, I just love how extra they are. Somehow they always incorporate a boat into it, just amazes me. It's it's not even it's tape. 10. My favourite accent. I used to love the Irish accent. That's because of Downton Abbey and Mr. Tom Branson. We do love that. After watching Drag Race uh, UK season 2, I have fallen in love with the Scottish accent just because of Lawrence Shani. Notice a lot of sexual tension between a horror and taste. Anything she says, I'm hooked. One prayer equals one chicken nugget. <laughs> Number 11 is I am studying at a film school in Manchester. Uh, I specialise in writing and directing and hopefully when Corona ends, I am meant to be starting production on my film that I wrote called Keep Watching. And I'm very excited because uh, a lot of work's gone into it and there's a lot of great people who have spent so much time trying to get it together. Number 12 is I recovered from an eating disorder in 2018 I finally recovered. I had been suffering from it since 2014 I believe it was. Was it 13? No, 14. Um, and I got help for it when I was 17 and uh, I had to put a lot of hard work into becoming who I am now today. I used to be very ashamed of it but now I'm quite proud of myself for overcoming that and not letting it get in my way anymore. Number 13 is I am a adrenaline junkie. I love doing adventurous stuff and younger me, many people remember if they from my primary school is I cried at rock climbing and ate abseiling and caving. But now I would love to do it. Maybe not caving. I don't know, there's something about it. And I really want to go to New Zealand because they're very adventurous over there. And there's I've seen so many things on Instagram where I'm like, call me crazy, but I wanna do it. Number 14, I am five foot three, which everyone, I've watched loads of these videos for inspiration and everyone says they're five foot three and short, but maybe we're just average, okay? Because there's way too many of us to say we're five foot three and short. Maybe we're just the average height and everyone else is just freakishly tall. So I would say I'm short, but I honestly don't think I am anymore. Number 15 is I am so clumsy. I have a condition which is called Butterfingers. It's not actually a condition. I don't want a doctor from TikTok like reading me and telling me it's not. No, thank you, man. This is an example of my clumsiness. Oh, you, you can't see that. You know what? There's a crack there, okay? I have had a driving license for three years, nearly four years, but I haven't dripped you judging me or you're judging me but i haven't driven since i passed my test and there is a reason for this i am so petrified of driving or even being in the car as a passenger because i do feel like if i'm gonna die that's where it is which is weird since i'm adrenaline junkie but i just have this fear anxiety that is how i'm gonna die number 17 is i've been in a few near death incidents when i've been on holiday in cuba in, i think it's 2005 hurricane dennis came along and at the time before hurricane sandy uh it was the strongest hurricane to hit and we had to be rushed to another hotel where we had to go in the basement but on the way we thought we were going to be stuck because we weren't allowed to cross this bridge because the winds were too strong and it was a nightmare but luckily we were okay and then on the way back from that holiday our engine decided that it wasn't gonna work and we had engine failure so we had to land in canada we also had engine failure again when we were on the way back from Mexico, which I also celebrated my birthday on. It was quite nice. I got a little Nemo uh, plushie. Being on a plane and had engine value twice has not made me scared of flying. Yeah, I'm still scared of cars. It's weird. I understand. I don't, um, I don't know either. Maybe I should get help. Stop it. Get some help. Also, when we were in Mexico, there was a whirlpool that opened up when I was playing in the sea with my family member. And my step cousin had to run in and put us under his arm and drag us out. And then in America, I went missing twice. Uh, not once, twice. One was in Disneyland. I think that was just my fault. I think I just wandered off because I saw a character and I was like, oh my God, I'm going on an adventure. I'm going on an adventure. And the second time it's quite blurry. I don't really know what happened. Number 18 is for GCSEs. I studied math, English literature, English language, double science, 
geography, psychology, ICT, graphic design, um, and citizenship. So in sixth form for my A-levels, I studied film, ICT again, then took media, but I dropped it because it was at a different school and I wasn't the big fan of that school. I had a few problems there. I had to pick up another subject, which was an EPQ, which stands for an Extended Qualification Project. And I actually did it on K-pop and how the industry uh, put so much pressure on idols and it can affect their body image and uh, self-esteem. I also had to do a personal finance degree. Finally, number 20 is, if you're not from Wattpad, you won't know, but I am an author of a few books. Uh, I started off in 2017 when I published my first book. Um, I've been told to breathe, apparently. <laughs> I started off just writing what I thought I wanted to, just imagine some scenarios in my head. And when I woke up the next morning, it had 100 reads, which shook me. And then a week later, it hit 1,000. And then a month later, it's 100,000. Then it was 500,000 in two months. And then within four months, I was at 1 million. And now I'm coming up to 4 million. I just finished a book which has hit 2 million, coming up to 3 million, and I'm doing a sequel for that one. And I'm also writing two other stories. So I'm keeping myself busy, but writing is one way I can express myself because I was never quite the academic person at school because of exams. So that was 20 facts about me. But yeah, I hope you found this interesting. If you like this video, please give it a like, sub. If you haven't already, hit subscribe. I am noticing that quite a few people haven't subscribed that watch my videos. I think it was 60% because I've worked out how to use YouTube analytics. Just give it a try. If you don't like it, you can always unsubscribe, but it would really help me out. So yeah, I will see you all in my next video. Thank you, bye.